Angel Wings Aquatics again as Kim. And today I got my shipment of oats and my containers. So I'm going to start breeding super worms and wax worms. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Been doing a lot of research. This is my first go around on it. So we may do some tweaking here and there. I'll give y'all updates as they go. First things we have, we have our super worms over here. I have a container that I've been keeping them in just to keep them alive as I fed our geckos. And over here we have our wax worms that we're gonna move from this container to the 10 gallon aquarium. So we're gonna start with our super worms. These need to be gone through, they're starting to smell. So I'm gonna dump them in this bucket, sort through them, and then we're gonna set them up in here. So let's get to it. I don't like catching them. So that's all cleaned out. We're gonna get some more oats. Throw it in here. That's really, they just need oats and carrots. Yeah. So I had a few that I had already separated out. Because what you want to do with super worms is you want to separate the biggest ones out. Since these guys have been in here cannibalizing each other and some of them are pretty big, I'm going to go through and see if they're bigger than the ones that I have in here. Those are my big ones. Those are gonna sit and pupate. The rest of them we're gonna put in here to get bigger. I also have this little container of them. Um, so we separated those like that because that forces them to pupate. Really, they're supposed to be bare bottom with nothing in the container to force them to pupate. <clears throat> but I want to see if I can, if they get bigger or not, because since this is my first time doing it. So I'm going to let them sit like that, see if they get any bigger. Some of them did. So I'll leave it like that and then see how it goes. If they don't get any, if they don't get any bigger, I'll take them out of it. I'll take the substrate out of that. So we have more egg cartons. Stick them in there. That should be good. I'll grab... There's a good bit of carrots in here right now, so I'm going to leave those in there. The carrots are how they get their moisture. But that's it. That's all you need. We drilled holes around the sides of this, all along the top. I didn't put any toward the bottom. These things will not climb the sides, so they can't chew out of the holes, but if the container is too short and the holes are within their reach, they can chew through the holes and get out. So we have the holes up here. Um, that's it, that's all they need. So they'll grow in here. Where's my lid? They're in there to get bigger. And then I'll watch these. When I see that they aren't growing anymore, then I'll take the oatmeal out of here. 
Okay, so now for our wax worms. As you can see, I have some in this container. They have, some of them did turn into moss. So they're in there. I started to do this, but I ran out of oatmeal. So what this is, is basically, these are my new wax worms. Basically all this is, is um, high fructose corn syrup and lots of honey. High fructose corn syrup just serves as a means to use a little bit less honey because honey is cheaper. So we're gonna put more oatmeal in here. 